When you look at these copper sun catcher cutouts, you might admire the artistic work that went into them, the delicate cuts. And the same with this barnyard puzzle. A little more whimsical, but you look at each puzzle piece, you can see the intricate cuts, the curves that were created on these. And you might wonder, how in the world can you do such a thing? Well, this is how, with a scroll saw. A scroll saw is really an entertaining way to spend, a, well, you can actually lose a lot of hours in the shop. It's a lot of fun, and it's, it lets you express a little bit of your artistic side again when it comes to woodworking. Scroll saw consists of a blade here, and these come in various widths. It's extended between an arm above the table and an arm below the table. And these arms bounce up and down together like this. Oscillates that saw blade up and down so that you can cut, uh, cut out parts in, uh, according to a pattern. Also on the scroll saw, you're going to find this foot here. This is designed to rest just a little bit above or lightly on your workpiece. You cinch that down. What that does is as the saw blade comes up, it'll tend to want to grab the workpiece and bounce it up off the table. So this helps uh, fight that, keeps things pressed down to the work surface. And this little contraption coming off the side here is a little blower. The motor runs a little bellows, forces air down here, and it directs air right at the saw point, point where the saw blade is cutting, so that it keeps sawdust off your line, you can always see where you're cutting. Working with a scroll saw is really very, very simple. It's an easy tool to run, and uh, it's one of those things that's uh, easy to learn, takes a lifetime to master, but you'll enjoy every minute of it. This particular saw, you have a switch that you pull on, it also has a variable speed, so you can adjust how quickly that oscillation is occurring. For material that cuts easily or is thinner, you can speed it up. If you have an instance where you need to slow down to get the most control, you can do that as well. I've got here the little tractor pattern that goes with this barnyard puzzle. And I'm going to cut out a little bit of it here just to show you how much fun this can be and how, how quickly and how tightly a scroll saw can turn around curves. So there's part of our tractor cut out. Now, you may wonder, it's easy to go around the outside of a pattern and follow those lines. What you might wonder is, how do I cut out things like the wheels that are hollow, or here up by the smokestack, or down here on this wheel? Well, what you can see I've done is I've drilled a hole in what will be my waste area. That allows me to undo the top of the blade and thread it through that hole in the pattern. Then I can reclamp the blade in position and start cutting inside. And there's an the inside cut out. This one I'll probably have to clean up a little bit with a file, some sandpaper, but it's always better to leave a little bit of extra material. And another secret about cutting onto a scroll saw pattern. Remember, don't get too obsessed about hitting those lines exactly. Once the pattern's gone, no one's going to know. You can sand away a lot of your mistakes.